Hey, what's going on tribe? It's Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, so guys, this video is um, based on duality because the way hmm, the 3D matrix works is there's a dual of everything. But in reality, um, there's only one. Should I say because the three D matrix is basically like, um, it's like the art artificial world. Should I say, um, so everything in basically no here we go, um, in the matrix is basically dual. Should I say, but everything in the universe comes from the one. Should I say, um, so yeah, we're just gonna be going over a few things, a few topics and stuff, um. And yeah, let's just get straight to it anyway. <laughs> all right, basically, all right. Um, so in this 3D third dimension, should we say, third density, if you want to call it that, um, we we um, currently experience duality. duality. Um, but really and truly, there is only one, um, like one creator. Um, like consciousness there's one um, but in this experiment they call it basically obviously um, source repli replicated itself to um, experience two basically um, but the two, the second is basically it's not our, it's still it's still source experience itself but it's a different is experiencing something totally different. So it's, it's experiencing its polar opposite, should I say. So Source, um, when creating the vertical Pisces, is basically creating its negative charge, should I say. A bit like um, the Matrix with, um, you have Neo, who's the positive charge, and you have Agent Smith, who's his negative, should I say. So in this um, third dimension, we experience that as well. So basically, you know, when they say, um, bear with me, it might go a bit off to topic, but um, we're going to go back on topic. So, you know, when they say there's um, good and bad, um, up and down, really, it's, there's, it's perception, should I say, because there's only one. So what we experience we experience in two sides of the same coin basically if that makes sense so um for instance you have <laughs> this is going to be a bit wild yeah but bear with me so you have the creator source yeah we're going to just use um these people as examples so you would have source the creator and then you would have archangel michael as the positive and then you would have lucifer as the negative and then you would have god and the devil should i say if you um are with me so that's how we experience duality in this current reality that we're in basically on this timeline or whatever um so yeah basically the um god and the devil are the same entity basically if that makes sense to you um yeah they're two sides of the same coin um yeah so in this um, kind of for dens density, this reality that we're currently, this simulation that we're cu currently um, experiencing, um, everything has its polar opposite basically. So you'd have a negative charge and you'd have a positive charge. You have up, down, in, out, black, white, masculine, feminine. Do you get me? So it has this. Um, what is happening is basically source is in a way experience source gets to experience both sides if that makes sense but in reality they're both source anyway if that makes sense so source is just experiencing the positive and negative side but it doesn't mean it's good or bad because it still comes from the one if that makes sense so mad but um <clears throat> We're going to go a little bit off topic. Um, and what the 
this has happened in the universe already and we kind of experience it now and it tells you in this book called the ancient teachings of the tree of life uh it's a great book it's a great book it tells you it's weird because i've read it and i absorb it and then like months later like i think i've read it last year and then now all the information is coming to the surface now which is um yeah i don't know it's just yeah, it's weird. This is the time for it to get processed and shared out, I guess. Um, so in the Book of Life, it basically um, explains um, when Source split in half, basically, to experience itself um, in a dualistic way, should I say? Is that even a word? Dualistic? Dual way? Dualistic? I don't know. Um, it's called the Luciferian experiment and it's basically it explains it in this book and the luciferian um experiment is basically um source basically separating it, separating itself from itself in a way um to experience the polar opposite should i say so with um source source is unity um love compassion forgiveness and um, helping your fellow man and all the it's not good or bad but that's what source is source is like basically love should we say um, but when um, the Luciferian pro, um, experiment is basically when source create it split itself in half to experience both both sides um, being dual in this free in this reality, it sep when it separates it, the negative side basically cuts its is disconnecting itself from the unity. It's disconnecting itself from love. Um, <clears throat> it's disconnecting itself from compassion. And what happens is you get all the negative charges from the positive charge so greed um selfishness and all that happens with once that split occurred should i say and i guess you would get souls that would want to experience the luciferian experiment um but unity con like the majority, well, the masses, um, yeah, they're still asleep, so. <laughs> but yeah, so you'd have, um, in the universe, you have, basically, you have people on the dark side and the light side, in a way. It is kind of like a spiritual battle to a certain degree. But um, uh, in the Luciferian experiment, this has happened a few times in the universe, um, there was, what is it called? Murdoch. No, Murdoch or Maldek or one one of the there was a planet um I'm not sure what it was it before or after Jupiter I'm not sure there was a there was another planet basically and this experiment happened before with source wanting to experience um being dual um so the there was beings or extraterrestrials we will we will say that tried this experiment before and basically on that planet Meldek or Murdoch or whatever it's called it's the asteroid belt they basically destroyed a planet um which has made the asteroid belt because if you look in if you look at the solar system or whatever there's a actually a planet missing um they call it the asteroid belt but it was actually a planet that got destroyed and basically what happened the people um did they go from i'm not sure if they moved from the planet that got destroyed to mars but anyway the luciferian experiment tried it again and they ended up on mars and ended up basically um because they have no love this side of the consciousness should i say doesn't have love compassion forgiveness um it's just got greed and hatred um and stuff like that so basically they would war with each other and basically they basically destroyed mars should i say um because that's why we're um we're so obsessed with mars because um we're basically like extra 
extraterrestrial extraterrestrial no bloody hell I can't even pronounce it basically the Mar the aliens that was um, extraterrestrials there we go that was on Mars they jumped planet and came to Earth basically and it's going to be a lot for some people to process so if you get it you get it if you don't <laughs> you you don't but um, be open to it be open to receive knowledge because knowledge they're burning books right about now knowledge knowledge they're burning knowledge right about now it's happening all over again um <clears throat> so yeah what's happening is um yeah so that's the whole thing about dual like the universe that we live in is dual um <clears throat> so yeah the that experiment with and we're basically seeing that now with the luciferian experiment with um greed um no compassion control um selfishness um power um we're seeing that from a lot of high up people should i say and they the they they're more left brain i think i think it's left brain so they don't really have emotions they're more emotionless um and right brain people are more um more in touch with their emotions and <clears throat> i'm not sure if it said it in this but um there's a few families that run the world and they're meant to be of this um luciferian experiment like their bloodlines and stuff they're like um non-human should i say but i'm just gonna say it they're just they're not they're hollow if you see the queen yeah she's hollow if you see um I don't know so, some um, even some of the celebrities um, I'm not saying if but if you see them they seem hollow like you don't get no no uh, there's no warmth to them should I say so when, when you feel that that's more of a it's not a positive or negative thing but they're coming from they're using the dark side of the energy should I say if that makes sense um, it's a bit like Star Wars man the the Star Wars is real you know like with the force and the force and the dark side that's a like that didn't come from nowhere it's a great film but if you deep it like if you read between the lines it's basically a spiritual battle and we're experiencing a spiritual battle right now really um so okay yeah m um the left brain is more masculine as well and the right brain is more feminine and i'm not sure if this is true or not i've, I've heard it somewhere else but um, I heard uh, melanated people are more right-brained and Caucasian people are more left-brained. Um, left brain is more logical thinking and right brain is more um, going through experience, should I say. <coughs> and I've oh got, yeah, we're going a bit off, going to go a bit off topic here. But um, yeah, like I was saying, we live in, uh, <laughs> the matrix is a bit... Um, Everything seems to be in reverse in, in the matrix, like where we're living in. <clears throat> um, so this just come to me. So back in the Lat Latin times, this is way, way, way back. Lucifer actually meant light bearing, but somehow it's got manipulated to be like Lucifer is this whole bad person, um, like in the Bible. Oh yeah, Lucifer's bad, he's Satan and that. But if you... How would it go from, I think Latin, when was Latin? I'm not even sure when Latin was made. But in certain religions, like, where was it? Oh, I can't remember. I was listening to something, but it was basically saying, um, like, you see, <laughs> it's like, uh, I think it's about, like, Freemasonry and stuff. They they see Lucifer as the light, the light bearer. Um, but there's... The light bearer, and be um being a Luciferian is to do with basically like spiritual, um. Spiritual understanding and spiritual growth and stuff, but what people um tend to get confused is Luciferian Luciferianism and Satanism are two different things, which I found out of recent because I thought Lucifer. Uh, Lucifer, I knew Lucifer means light bearing, but I didn't know Luciferian and Satan's, Satanisms or whatever, they're two different things. Um, so you're going to have to do your research on that. I'm going to do a video on that actually. Um, 
what I think is happening is obviously the Christ consciousness, like the unity consciousness is, is reforming. Um, it's happening. Like this is the whole great awakening. It's called Christ consciousness. Like everyone um, waking up and stuff, not everyone, but waking up. Um, so that's called Christ consciousness. And what I think, th this is my, this is my interpretation of it. Take it from it what you will. Um, the golden age is what we're going into. What I think is happening is basically the the duality, the we, is merging back with the I am. So the we is becoming I, if that makes sense. So it's becoming back to one, to source, if that makes sense, back to um, one conscious, not dual, last, not duality, if that makes sense. Um, that's just my view on it. Um, because a lot more people are waking up and things, um, the energy is very chaotic right now and things are not as they seem on the surface, like with all the stuff like that's happening with the sky. There's a lot of stuff going on energetically wise and there's people in place trying to manipulate that, should I say. But um, yeah, that's what I think is going on. I think the we is becoming I. So the dual is merging back with the one. Should I say? And there's a another book in there that I've got. It's called um, the book of the law of one. I think it's called. But I need to read it. I started reading it, but I stopped reading it. Um, but that's just about um, the I, the I am or whatever. Because the I am is meant to be. Um, it's like the the most um, the powerful word in the universe or something like that. But um, yeah, guys, that was a little video on duality and my view. Um, on consciousness and um yeah it was a bit bit esoteric so you know take take from it what you will but um if you like the video you guys know what to do and peace love and light tribe and i'm going to hit you guys up real soon